Hello, hello everyone. Hope we're all having a good evening slash good morning slash good afternoon wherever it is you may be. We're just looking for some shiny Rattatas tonight. Actually, let me get on my Aerodactyl. I already just thought I saw sparkles. I've already been deceived. Wait, you can't activate lures when you're on a- ugh. This game. Never mind. So I got my chain already, so I don't need to do any more catching. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Activate lure. Okay. You know what? Let's let's just stay with Blitzen. Just stay with my Arcanine. And we already have a bajillion ratatas. Ratatat tats. Hopefully the audio sounds okay. I'm so dreadful with audio, I never know what I'm doing. But yeah, like I said, I hope you're all doing well tonight. Just gonna be looking for a shiny rat. And shiny Rattatas are like a greenish color, so hopefully I'll see one if it spawns. That's my greatest fear. One spawns and I don't see it. Are canines your favorite Pokemon? Well, you have great taste. Are canines one of my favorite Pokemon? Definitely top five. Or probably top 10. <laughs> top 5 or top 10. Of all time. Definitely top 5 for first gen. He's top number 1. I respect that. I have a shiny Growlithe. This was the one shiny I hunted back when the game first came out. I just love the shiny yellow. And then I have Caterpie, which is also a yellow color, so it's like, I guess I like the gold shinies. Yeah, it's probably Arcanine... Aerodactyl and Gyarados are probably top three Gen 1. And Charizard. You can't forget can't forget Charizard. And all the starters. Yes, the new scale world figures look really cool. Yeah, Arcanine's definitely the figure out of those I want the most. I mean, I don't even really care about... about blue. I just want Arcanine. Yeah, I'll keep looking for places where there's pre-orders open. I guess maybe that one place I linked on Twitter, maybe it's uh, too far out for them to open pre-orders yet since they come out a month later. I don't know. It's weird that they have pre-orders for some and not others. But I'll keep looking for places that are reputable and I'll continue to update the description for the video or tweet it out. It's just such a shame that they're exclusive. Exclusives are just the worst. Yeah, they just had uh, Red and Mewtwo, the Red and Mewtwo set. 
And then they had Blastoise, Charizard, and Venusaur individually. They didn't even have the Professor Oak set. So... Thankfully, their prices are really good. Like, they didn't do a huge markup like I've seen some places. All of their prices were really good, so... Maybe they'll list them in the future? I'll keep checking back anyway. But yeah, exclusives are just... I hate them. <laughs> I hate them so much. It's like, this would make so much money if it was more widely available. Yeah, I want them all too, but it's like... Buying them all would be like over $200. <laughs> It's like, uh, I don't have that kind of cash. And then Sword and Shield merch is gonna start dropping around that time, so it's like, oh my god. What do I do? <sighs> yes! Wooloo! All the Wulu merch, I agree completely. The plush for Wulu better be really soft. I keep waiting for new for new uh, Sword and Shield merch. It's going to be announced soon. I can feel it. After the movie comes out, you know the. Mewtwo movie, remake, whatever you want to call it. After that comes out, it's all going to start flooding in. This Nidoran's bullying me. Get out of my way. Yeah, I bet Wooloo's going to be in the first lineup of plushies. So they'll do starters, and then they'll do some of the the common ones that you'll see. So I bet Wulu is going to be either first or second round when the Pokemon Center starts announcing plushies. Definitely. And I have a feeling the uh, Pokemon Center US, they're going to want to get in on that. So I feel like the import time, they're going to be available really quickly. If I remember correctly, they were really fast with uh, the Sun and Moon in ports. So I think we'll end up seeing it really quickly. And then all the Tomy figures are gonna come out. It's gonna be crazy. Every time there's a new, new generation of Pokemon, the merch is always really exciting. And they've still only revealed so little. In terms of Pokemon, they've still got a ton more trailers I bet they're going to release. Just as long as they don't end up showing too much. I don't want the whole game to be spoiled. There, this seems like a much more better system than I had before. Yeah, I can't wait for November. I know a lot of people right now are really salty about the National Dex thing. To the point where it's a little absurd. But, uh, I'm still excited for the new games.
I am still very, very, very excited. I bet we're gonna end up getting a Coral Coro soon or a new trailer. I hope shiny hunting in those games is more fun. Of nothing so far. Come on, shiny rats. Spawn, spawn, spawn. Charizard and Dragonite's colors are so similar. They're both like that shade of orange. Now, the true scale world figure I would like to see is Aerodactyl. An Aerodactyl figure like that would be amazing. Aerodactyl and Gyarados. But those, those two would be huge. Those would be some big figures. Ah, Nidoran, you scared me. And there's just so much potential you have with that Scale World series. So many trainers, gym leaders, Pokemon, different set pieces you could have too. Let's just hope Bandai doesn't ruin it. I mean, they already kind of ruined it by having it be exclusive. That's kind of unfortunate. But, I mean, they still exist. I guess that's that's a thing. They still exist. Let's get some Bidoofs in here. The Bidoofs give me luck. Bidoof bot gives me strength. It fills me with determination. Ugh, I keep thinking those sparkles around the big ones are our shiny sparkles. Deceived. <sighs> More Dragonite. More Dragonite and Charizard are spawning than anything else. Come on, shiny rat. I do have the uh, target down, the text down there for what I'm hunting. I didn't want to really get too fancy with the layout. I don't know, I, I look at other streams to see what they're doing, and some people just have outrageously comical, like, levels of dedication <laughs> to shiny hunting where they have like 50 million screens and all these graphics. I'm not about that life. I just want to keep it simple, keep it casual, keep it chill. Also, if I had a million different games I had to keep track of, I would make a mistake. I'd like see the shiny or if I was like doing resets or something, I'd see the shiny and reset by accident because I wasn't paying attention. That just seems like too much. But yeah, some people just have really elaborate... Elaborate productions when it comes to shiny hunting. Oh, 
people were just chilling, hanging out on Raptor, my Aerodactyl. Just mad chilling. Whole lot of nothing so far. Although it did take me over an hour and some to get shiny Caterpie, so... It can be a process, that's for sure. When I catch a shiny, I continue searching for another... Yeah. That's a good way to do it. What's nice about here is that I can keep going back back and forth between these zones to get new spawns. To hopefully spawn our shiny rat. Cerulean Cave would actually be a fun place to shiny hunt. Whoa. I dodged Charizard and ran into Spiro. More rats? Oh god, Dragonite just completely obliterated me. Get out of here, dude. Sheesh, so rude. You're just sitting here minding your own business and Dragonite takes you out. It's still weird seeing wild Dragonite and wild Charizard. Just two Pokemon you uh, don't exactly see wild very often. One thing I look forward to is no more uh, small and large Pokemon. Like, I don't know why of all the mechanics they took from Go, they took that one. It's just kind of obnoxious. I've never been a fan. Especially when you're shiny hunting. It's just distracting. Alright, let's move back over here again. Sure are a lot of Spiros. been a rainy night here. Lots of thunder and wind. Perfect weather for shiny hunting. Something nice and chill. Cozy, if you will. Let me check something here. Alright. One of the videos I just filmed, which I still need to fully edit, it was really storming, and you can actually hear the thunder in the background of the recording. I think I'm just gonna leave it in. Some bonus atmosphere. Like, at one point, it almost sounded like the thunder hit, or the lightning hit, like, right outside. 
I'm surprised it didn't scare me when I was recording. I guess I was just so in the zone. I wasn't gonna let anything distract me. Well, yeah, that video I just filmed was really fun. So I need to finish editing that. What even is today? Today is Tuesday. Maybe get it out Friday, Saturday. But yeah, I filmed a uh, Bandai, speaking of Bandai, it is a Bandai kids video, kid figure video. You know, they're little cute little finger puppets, and it was blind bag, and there was plenty of drama. As there always is with blind bag things. But yeah, the Scale World video is actually doing really well, so I'm glad everyone liked that. I certainly had fun talking about it. And since enough people liked it, I'll definitely do this again for, like, new Sword and Shield merch. I'm just so excited for Sword and Shield, man. I want the merch to drop now! It's still way too early. Usually when they announce, like, the first Pokemon Center promo, it comes out... Like, on the same date the game gets released. So, we still have many months to go. So, I may end up doing a lot of casual shiny hunting streams. Until then, at least. Just biding, your, biding our time until the game comes out. More Spiro. Come on, shiny Rattata. Rattatat tat. How long have I been live for? Almost uh, half an hour? Half an hour and still nothing. And these Rattatas really love to go all over the place. More Charizards. This is just the place to be if you're a Charizard. I like how I actually can't pass this barrier. There's like an invisible wall Aerodactyl can't pass. Thanks for the follow, Danny. Appreciate ya. I've seen my Ludicolo pop up a bunch for when people follow the little alert that plays. But I think I've seen Ludicolo and Zoroark. I have a whole bunch, though. There's no delay? Yeah. Oh, what? What was that? Was that Poliwag? 
Yes, it's Poliwag. I thought it was Ditto. Why am I getting water spawns? What happened? Yes, more Bidoof. The Bidoof gives us shiny luck. The Poliwag made me think it was Ditto. I think they're the exact same cry, which is which is pretty funny. It's shocking how many Gen 1 Pokemon all shame share the same cry. I'm like, why is there a Ditto here? No, nope, just Poliwag. You got your second sha sha English hard. Got your second shiny last week. What was it? Do tell. Oddish, cool. Whoops. Didn't mean to click my Aerodactyl. Vileplume was one of the main members in my party when I went through this game, so... I appreciate a good shiny Oddish. 200 Oddish candies? Wow, you gave it... Those thick stacks of treats. I like that they put Oddish in the beginning of the game. I have... Well, I have to get off my Aerodactyl. Why don't they let you access the bag when you're on a flying Pokemon? Some of the decisions made. Ugh. Alright, let me get my bag. Yeah, it's like weirdly tedious. I leave it to Game Freak to have design choices like this. Yeah, I have a shiny Growlithe. I caught this a long time ago. Uh, back around when the game first came out. Because there's really no post-game, so I thought, what else am I going to do? So I have this sassy shiny Growlithe. And then, my last stream, I caught this. A shiny P. So, two golden shinies. And now we're looking for Rattata. He get back on my Aerodactyl. All this menuing. Yeah, shiny Caterpie is great. Something about the gold shinies are just so nice. It's just, it's such a shame that some Pokemon like Garchomp have such god-awful shinies. Like, shiny Garchomp is like one shade darker. Yeah, I was just in Viridian Forest. Yes. There were- f it was Frame Drop City. Ugh, good old Game Freak. Yes, there is massive frame drops in Viridian- Viridian Forest. It's like... We can't even escape frame drops, even on the Switch. Whoops. I ran right into that Firo. I always noticed when it got laggy on the 3DS when you had like Primal Groudon or Primal Kyogre or especially like VGC or Doubles. The frame rate got to be so terrible. It's it's actually pretty funny. On the Pokedex in Gen 8. Whew. I don't really see why people are so mad. Like, I understand why people are upset, right? But people are acting like... People need to chill out. That's what I think. Yeah, sandstorm and weather. Yeah, anytime the weather effects were on the game... Lag City. Yeah, I... 
I don't know, people are just like harassing some of the Game Freak staff and it's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> That's not the way to, to get the change you want. It's really not a big deal. I almost wonder if it's like anger that's been bubbling because lately a lot of Pokemon games people haven't been happy with them. I don't know. There's just people have been losing their minds and it's like you you all need to chill out. <laughs> Harassing developers and like that, it's just there's no way to get anything done. Like Masuda straight up took a break from Twitter. Like, he disappeared for a long time because people were harassing him. It's like, that's... that's gross. And especially, I don't think it's really a developer choice. I feel like... I don't know, I feel like it's uh, higher-ups, you know? It's always the executives that make choices like this. And I saw, oh, everybody was saying that Game Freak is lazy. I don't think that's the case. I think all of them honestly really care. But, I don't know, decisions are just made from higher ups and developers just have to, to listen to them. I don't know, there's a way to go about voicing your displeasure. And then there's her straight up harassing people. I don't know, it sucks that, you know, like Garchomp or a whole bunch of other Pokemon that are my favorites aren't going to be in the game, but at the end of the day, it's not that big a deal. That's my official stance. Oh lord, I just hope the uh, yep, that's exactly what I was going to say. I just hope when the demo drops, it's, you know, not going to be super easy to data mine, but knowing Game Freak, <laughs> it will be. Yeah, Tyranitar is in Sword and Shield, and Beware. Those are two of my favorite Pokemon, so they have the game has some of my faves in it. Yeah, they they data mine it uh, real quick. <laughs> Anytime there's a demo, it's it's ridiculous, and switches can be homebrewed. Like they've already figured out how to homebrew and you know, have custom software on the Switch, so... All those hackers are gonna be really quick about it. But is Rowlet in it? <laughs> I have doubts about starters being in it. The Sun and Moon data mine, yes. It was late at night, I remember that too, and I was just on Twitter looking at everything. Yup. Bam, there it was. That's exactly what happened. And while I don't want everything spoiled, I also feel like, in a weird way, it's kind of my job <laughs> to, like, know all the Pokemon and know what's happening. And also, I can't resist spoilers. Like, I don't want spoilers, but if I see them, I'm like, I can't. I have to look at it. But yeah, when they inevitably release a demo, it's a gonna get data mined into a thousand pieces. And not only did they reveal all of the uh, Pokemon for uh, Sun and Moon, and they also revealed like trainers. Like they revealed red and blue were in the game. Like that would have been a really cool surprise. Like if you had no idea. Wait a minute, I actually think, didn't they reveal that in the trailer? They revealed something in the data mine that I thought would have been really cool, but... Game Freak themselves has a habit of revealing a lot of cool stuff in their trailers. It's like they're Sony, they just can't help it by showing, like, the post credit scene in the trailers.
Ugh, Firo. The Meltan leak? That was really weird, the way Game Freak did that. They actually, like, tried to make it a, like, mystery. That was kind of cool, honestly. I don't know, I'd like to see more creative ways that they can reveal stuff like that. Yeah, I remember when Meltan first came out and everyone was like, what is this? I think some people thought it was like a mistake. At first, people were like, is this like a placeholder for if there's a, like, the game glitches out? But nope, it was actually a new Pokemon. Data miners and YouTube were like all over that. I think it's I think it's really uh, shitty when some of those YouTubers put like the spoilers in the thumbnail. Like I've seen that happen a lot, and that's not just with like Pokemon stuff. That's with like you know Marvel or other video game spoilers. It's just that's just gross. But gotta get those clicks, I guess. Even if we spoil it for people who are just minding their own business. Push the final boss in the thumbnail? Ugh. I really hate people like that. It's just inconsiderate, man. You know, think about people browsing on the internet who don't want to see that stuff, but they just don't care. Spoiled Mario Odyssey? Ugh. Yeah, some people are just the worst. I had to dodge Mario Odyssey spoilers myself. I didn't get the system, or I got the Mario Odyssey Switch for Christmas, and so I was just, I was just dodging those spoilers. I didn't watch anyone stream the game. Like people, I watch a lot of speedrunners, and so I had to dodge streams playing the game, and I didn't look for anything on YouTube. Especially since the ending of that game was so cool. No, I don't have Mario Maker 2. It looks fun, though. I've enjoyed watching people play it. All of the improvements they've made look really fun. Yeah, Cappy taking over Bowser was so cool. Someone put it in a thumbnail the day before the game came out. Ugh. How do these people get these games so early? Do they, like, rob these stores or steal them? I mean, sometimes it's just a legitimate mistake. Like, some people, some stores put them on the Switch or on store shelves for the Switch too early. Yeah, Amazon's probably made that mistake. I don't know, it's just- it's not hard to consider other people, you know? If you're gonna put up a spoiler video, title it and thumbnail it properly. You'll BRB? Alright, <laughs> I'll be here looking for shiny Rattata. Which has not spawned. Ben 
spent a whole lot of nothing. I feel for all the people who are really invested in Infinity War. Because all the spoilers for that... Wow. <laughs> they were everywhere. I remember I was just watching a random streamer one night around the time Infinity War came out and people were just posting spoilers. It's like, yikes. Some people really get a kick out of being an asshole. Alright, shiny Rattata. Let's go. Spawn, spawn, spawn. Yeah, I saw that. But I was just, it was just like a random stream. I think he was playing the first Mario Maker and somebody in chat, nobody was even talking about the Avengers. Somebody just posted Tony Stark dies. It's like, oh. Okay. <laughs> and the mods had to get to it quickly. Yeah, a, a lot of popular things like that always end up leaking early. Like, didn't the end of Game of Thrones also leak? Like, somebody posted a summary or something, and it was pretty accurate. I mean, we've had leaks for Sword and Shield, too. Somebody correctly predicted Nessa, and it also had a couple other interesting tidbits on there, too, so... I mean, it looks like it's accurate, right? If they predicted Nessa before she was even revealed. But yeah, that spoiler list is, is quite interesting, that's for sure. There's a couple things on there that I'm very interested in. Particularly a certain evolution to an old Pokemon. But yeah, that, that Sword and Shield leak, it leaked too many things that came, turned out to be accurate for it to, for the leak to be, like, bogus. So I'm inclined to believe it. Oh god, oh god, it sh oh, there it is! Oh. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, I gotta get off the Aerodactyl. Get off the Aerodactyl. Oh, okay. Here it is. And it's a big boy. Oh my god. I feel so nervous when this happens. Okay. Give it a nice berry. Oh, and we got the excellent. Let's go. There's no way this baby's breaking out. Yes! We did it! Yay! Success! Well, how about that? There it is! Yay! All right, now let's look at it. Thank you. We did it. Level five. Whew, I'm like, I have to stop my heart. It's like beating too quickly. Likes to thrash about. I keep wanting to go back. How do I judge? Why? Best, best, best. Let's go. Alright. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get this so soon, honestly. 
I think Shiny Caterpie took almost two hours, so... Yay! Well, now what do I do? <laughs> I caught the Shiny Caterpie, and I caught the Shiny Rattata. Let's get back on my Arcanine. My beautiful Blitzen. Cerulean Cave? Alright, that sounds like a plan. First of all, let's save. Saving is always important. And let's, do I need more lures? I might as well. Get some max lures. No, I haven't. Have you? I've had no luck getting any extra Master Balls whatsoever. Forever unlucky. Like three? Ah. I mean, I haven't tried very much, but... Yeah, the times I did try, nothing. Not a zilch zip zero. I didn't even realize they had these trainers inside the mart. All right, let's let's head to Cerulean Cave. Butter snorted loudly. Thanks for that. Pikachu in this game is so cute. There's Cerulean. I have to remember even how to do that. I don't remember where... It's in that one floor, isn't it? I have to remember how to do that. No, not yet. We don't need to pop our other lore. Man, this game is so pretty. Ooh. Squirtle spawn right away. I think that's the first Squirtle I've seen in this game. There's a ton of Bulbasaur that spawn. Oh! Big boy! Big boy! I don't think I've seen wild Snorlax in here before. I wonder what the odds of finding Snorlax are. This is a large lad! Excuse me. Whoops. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you have a lot of energy, Blitzen. A shiny Snorlax would be amazing. Oh, I have to remember how to navigate this cave. These spots make you think you can actually, like, click on them. Oh lord, there's another Snorlax. Oh, I heard it again! Wow. Oh, right into a lick of tongue <laughs> Man, 
man, look at Snorlax moving, moving about. Hey, there's a golden Raz. I needed those. There's an Ultra Ball. Maybe this Ditto here will give us luck. More golden razes. Ugh, I keep I keep getting blitzen. Yes, cheer up. Maybe I should just get off at the moment. Here's Chansey. More golden razes. A great ball. So, a lot of golden berries, a whole lot of nothing else. Is this the only place you can get golden razzes? It's been so long since I played this game. I heard Chansey spawn. And a Pokeball. And another Grape Ball. More Snorlax. He's taking a sit. Having a sit. It's interesting that they chose to have... Snorlax spawn in this cave. Oh, I don't have a lore active. That's... You have a great point. <laughs> Pop this lore. And I ran right into that Zubat. So I'd have to catch thirty one Snorlaxes. If I wanted to find a shiny, that seems like a lot of work. The chain, doing the, the chain is the worst part by far. Especially when I don't have, uh... When I, uh... I like to do it when the switch is docked. Or not docked. <laughs> what am I talking about? Yeah, I have a chain, so will I have, like... Does that only increase the chance of shiny Rattata or all other Pokemon? I don't know how it works. Snorlax must be a rare spawn, which is why I'm seeing so many. Because of my chain. But does the chain make them shiny? Only one spawns anyway? Ah, interesting. Man, this makes me nostalgic for red, blue, uh, and yellow. I used to love catching chanseys in Cerulean Cave back when I was a kid. Any Pokemon can appear shiny now? Ah, I see. Oh, that cold hat scared me. Alright, well, I'll just wander around here for a while. Do these spots keep respawning stuff? I feel like I've gone over these a ton. And they still keep spawning stuff. Just be careful, be careful of what? Yeah. 
more golden razes. How many do I have now? I think I had four? Yeah, I've gotten quite, quite a few. Whoops. Going up and down the ladders resets the spawn? Really? Oh no, I know what you're talking about, never mind. Whoa, right on. I know what you mean. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. Yeah, resetting the spawns to get a shiny and you don't see a shiny and then it's gone. Okay, I know what you mean. <laughs> I had to think about that one for a second. You lost a shiny ditto that way? Oh, that sucks. Shiny Ditto is so is uh, a great shiny too, which makes it more unfortunate. I love Shiny Ditto. Two Rhydons. 